How's it going, everybody? My name is Waddles. I'm a little sick, so excuse that if I sound different, but hi, welcome back to the Let's Play series, episode 20 now. So, last episode, I set up the storage room. This episode, or before this episode, I went ahead and moved things into the storage room. I have very rough, um, like, categories organized here, so valuable stuff, and then, you know, more random valuable stuff. Uh, mob items, over here I have caving things, then, um, ground things and other blocks, uh, plants, you know, just random, uh, sorting methods. Then I added in an armor stand for armor, of course, and then an anvil as well. And in case you missed it, I have hidden furnaces down here. Now, I was really busy in between episodes this time because I finally went ahead and finished up the outside of this building. This is, of course, the common hall, and yeah, I made it look a little better. I don't know what I was thinking. I was putting trapdoors to stop the water from dripping through, and they're waterlogged trapdoors, so it's the same as nothing being right here above the block. I just didn't change it yet, uh, but I kind of like how it looks. So, yep, that's where I'm at. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, I'm sick. <laughs> it's not fun. I think it has to do with the changing of the seasons or something. Um, but I'm drinking lots of tea, and we're about to play a game. So, today we're going back to the Guardian Project. Off camera, I've been farming up tons of uh, cocoa beans, wood, just stuff in general for the game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the other three walls. All of the walls were ideas suggested by you guys. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wall and do a time lapse, a short time lapse, like 20 seconds. I'll put clips in that time lapse that will give you a hint as to what I'm setting up. Or you can just go ahead and go down below now and take a guess as to what each wall is going to be. Uh, or just one wall or whatever you want. So three guesses down below in the comments. And yep, I'll do a time lapse and I'll do one wall, then I'll come back and reveal it. Then I'll do the other wall, come back and reveal it, and then the other wall, and come back and reveal it. I think that makes sense. Um, yeah, so what do you think I'm going to do on the walls? <laughs> I think I explained that well, uh, or well enough, uh, but uh, let's go. Well, did you take a guess? If not, here's your last chance, because here we go. Boom. <laughs> there is wall one. It's a water scene, so if you guessed fish or something like that, uh, there you go. I tried to make uh, an angel fish, a clownfish, and then a crab, so I'm going to go ahead and tear this whole wall down and then move over to the next wall. So take another guess if you've got a guess, and here we go. Start of time lapse two. Oh wait, 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 wait! I went over to my AFK fish farm and grabbed more Nautilus shells so I could make another conduit because I found that the back of that wall that I was just setting up is actually out of range of my first conduit. So here's our second conduit of the world. I'm going to place it probably behind the farm somewhere so I can do the back wall and the other wall and not lose the signal again. I knew I was forgetting something. I wanted to say thanks and give a little shout out to the people who gave me the ideas for each wall. So wall one, thanks to Crystal Cat, Desiree M, Emerald, and Cabadoth for those ideas i combined a lot of things and wall two cabadoth and rick clark as well as a few other people who had sent me some messages ah uh, here we go <laughs> did you get it right it's meant to be a shipwreck um it's a lot more basic and simple but i think it works you just can't really see it too well because of all of the kelp but yeah a shipwreck with holes and then gold everywhere and Yep, okay, so that's that. On to uh, the final wall. Take your final guesses. I'm going to 
so I had to take a break in between those cuts because I wasn't feeling well, and so it's a few days later, I'm doing well, and here's the wall. Uh, giant Kelp is the final wall. Now, this one doesn't look uh, too much like Kelp. I might need to do something after. That is green glass in here, and then there's lime glass. Uh, but yep, yeah, so that's the back wall. I wanted to do something nice and basic, so when I'm looking straight at the Guardian from the front, it looks, uh, you know, not too complex behind it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, pick up my conduit, and um, uh, take this sand wall out and take out all of those pillars that I left standing on the inside of uh, this little farm area, and then we're going to move on to the next project today. Oh wow, this area looks so much larger with the glass walls in and the pillars gone. I really like how it looks. The green glass at the back does look a little brown though, so I might need to fix that a little later, but for now I'm done with the glass. So it's time to mess with the storage for this thing. I just went and gathered up ice from an iceberg area and some uh, quartz from the nether for this next project. Oh, by the way, the kelp wall, uh, Rick Clark Cabadot. And like I said, I took a few day break in between the walls so if your comment uh you know is like one of these walls nice to you and did you win the game <laughs> uh okay so uh, storage now poetic valentine sent me a world file with uh, a storage idea and that idea was pretty similar to what i was already thinking about doing so thanks poetic valentine for sending me that and I think now it's time to just kind of chop some of this stuff out and get this going. Now, what I want to do is um, have storage below the... Oh, you know what I should do is this. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's a lot better. So I want to have storage underneath this thing, uh, like in the ground. I want to set up a room under here and do something cool like that. So I need to move everything out of this area first and... To do that, I think I want to move everything over to a hopper, um, which should probably go here, um, and we'll move everything down, and then into some kind of, you know, automatic sorting thing. Now, uh, hmm, I'm gonna need to re- whoops, uh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I need to reconfigure all of these hoppers, and oh no, <laughs> get out of here, um, they all need to go towards that one. I broke one that I didn't even have to break. I'm not that worried about um, losing all of this stuff. I'm just worried about dying. Uh, I don't think I... Oh. <laughs> I don't think I'll die, but I need to just be really... Oh, no. Uh, right as I said, I don't think I'll die. I'm taking a whole lot of damage. Um, <laughs> uh, I didn't think about how I would, you know, really go about doing this <laughs> um i need to regen my health a little bit before i can really do anything <laughs> okay let's try that again so i'll have a dispenser shooting things out of it as soon as those things get into the dispenser i think i have actually memorized the circuit that i need and i should Ooh. ah uh, let's see let's go um this way with the circuit because I want to fully conceal this thing that I'm building. I don't want to be able to see any of the magic that is happening um, from behind here. So let's see. I need to take a comparator and have it coming out. Is this way out? Is that pointing out? I think so. Uh, it needs to go like that though. And then I need a repeater over here. And then I need another repeater facing inwards i think that we need to connect this all up and place another dust there and one there to finish that off um yeah i think that's is it working uh i'm getting a ton of lag i don't know if it's really doing anything though did i build that wrong uh i can feel it in my game <laughs> this might not be the way to go um <laughs> oh man that's crazy oh no i cut my fps in half <laughs> um 
Let's just take that out. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Is it because everything is trying to catch up? I, it's got to be that. I think everything that is clogged up in these hoppers is trying to catch up. Ooh. Uh, which is just going to keep happening, right? Because more and more and more are falling. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go along with the project, I guess, and we'll we'll get back to it. We'll fix it. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I think I'll just have to dump all the items out now that I think about it. Um, So items will get shot down into a stream that will be down here. Then we'll have our whole room. Can I pull all of this out? I think so. We'll have a whole... um like room down here with a pretty simple automatic storage thing again thanks to poetic for showing me um a design idea the design that i was going to go with is um well it is this and it was pretty similar to what uh he was showing me so i'd like to give a little mention there so uh anyways um uh we're gonna shoot items down onto ice and then We'll have water moving things around basically in a big square. Like I said, this will be above. Like we'll have a room down there where we can see everything. So this will all just be completely hidden. Um, and yeah, we won't be able to see any of it. So we'll start our water track here and we're going to have it go eight blocks. So that's four. I'll need a ton of hoppers for this thing too. So let's go ahead and start off with, I think... Six is the math that I came up with, the number that I need. I'll have, um, you know, six different rows or whatever on one side. So anyways, I have a 10 long path here. This is eight. Then we have a slab on the ninth. This is to hold water back. Then we'll have another water stream going this way out and back. And then, you know, the same thing in a giant square. Now that I'm looking at my ice, I definitely don't have enough. However, I will be doing six uh, hoppers in the middle of each side going down into the storage thing. What I'm thinking is I'll have uh, the prismarine shards on one wall, the crystals on the other wall, and then the fish on the final wall because those are the only drops that I get from this thing. I don't get salmon or anything like that because I am not killing any of the guardians, uh, you know, myself. It's all happening automatically, and I'll only get those drops if I do the killing. So, if I go two there, then I went six here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would go to there. Um, and our water is going all the way to where that ends. Then I'd have a slab here and then another quarter. So this will be ice right around the corner, I think. I think that's right. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to imagine this here. Uh, I, I think that's right though. Um, and I think I want all of these facing into this block here because these are the hoppers that will be locked with the items. Um, I think, uh, let's see water there going right across, uh, right to there. Yep. That looks good. Okay. So I need to copy that. I probably will have enough ice after all, because it looks like I only need three on each and every side. So that's really not that bad. The reason I'm doing six hoppers as well is so the thing doesn't get clogged up. I don't want, you know, some kind of overflow happening and then, uh, you know, it breaks or something like that. Because I know that storage things, uh, especially when I do them the way I will be doing it, uh, these things can get backed up. And that's not fun. Not good at all. Not going to help my case here. And I might have even more issues with the thing because of how productive it is right i'm still a little concerned about that lag from all of those items uh that won't be good if that always happens hmm i don't know how i'll work around that <laughs> now that i think about it i have no clue how i'm gonna get around that lag if that's like an always gonna happen thing um you know what? i'll just go ahead and make 14 hoppers that'll work uh huh okay <laughs> Okay, so here's the whole water current thing. This is the part of the design that was inspired by Poetic Valentine, that world that I keep talking about. So item gets into it, and it will go around. Now, of course, because I have hoppers here, uh, they will pick up that item. But if these hoppers are locked with, say, fish, then the shards won't go down into these hoppers. They'll continue right, or, right across the top of the hoppers and around in a, a square until they find wherever they need to to land so now i need to lock all of the hoppers that are 
uh, on each side because, wait, um, I'm going to need to sneak down this way, aren't I, um, to get underneath these so I don't uh, spill the water in there. Maybe I'll put some glass in here just to make it look nice. I don't know if I'll ever actually end up seeing it, though, so maybe I don't really need to do that, but I need to lock these hoppers, uh, well, the top ones on each row, and then have more hoppers coming down off of these uh, hoppers. So I need to make tons and tons more hoppers and kind of set it up. I think I'll set one side up with you guys, and then I'll go ahead and just do the other ones because it's pretty repetitive. Basically, what I'm going to need to do is uh, take a comparator, uh, torches, and dust. So I have all of that. Let's just throw some random stuff out. Um, now, a comparator will be coming out of the hopper. So just temporarily. Ooh, <laughs> I can't get in there. Um, you know what? Let's block the water off for now. So basically, uh, I'll have a comparator coming out of here like that. Then we'll have dust and another dust over here. Then we go diagonally below this dust uh, right there, or I guess straight below that dust, and do a repeater going into a block with a redstone torch on it. I believe that's the whole circuit. So the torch goes there, if I have that right. This is a pretty standard uh, little hopper locking thing i think that circuit's right uh i might have to take another look at it but that's basically oh you know what no i'm missing something what i'm missing is this i need to go down one i knew that wasn't right <laughs> so that goes down one uh if this was a little more open um <laughs> it would be easier to work with but uh we go down one then we take our repeater it seems like i lost one the repeater goes there then we have a block and the torch there just like that I think. <laughs> oh, well, it's running. I had my repeater placed wrong, and that was causing a bunch of the lag. However, uh, it this might not be the best way to do this, because uh, <laughs> it's so much like random clicking. If I could have items fall into our whole storage thing, which is down here, without any of the the dispenser clicking that would be amazing uh the thing is working right like i have all of my shards over here and then the crystals over here and then the fish in the back but yeah if i could cut out the whole clicking step that would be great so what i was thinking is perhaps i could do some kind of combination of like glass panes in here with maybe some fence gates or something uh to just have these guys bounce around and then all of their items just fall through and then I could use currents to send them into these currents because this thing is kind of pointless right like I'm picking up all of these items and and then just kind of dropping them back on the ground again so it would be nice to eliminate all of these hoppers somehow and do something with that so I'm gonna go ahead and try that out um I don't really know how it's gonna work out uh it should work fine though but Everything in here is going pretty well. I'm not worried that this entrance is off-centered. Uh, we'll do something with this, probably a different episode or something like that. I don't want to do all the decorating today. I just want to get this thing working. But, yep, this is how this will be. And I'll continue these chests, like, downwards. So we'll have pretty much an endless amount of storage in here for these things. And then, of course, you know, decorate it and all. But, yep, I'm going to try out some combinations of some things now. Nah... So, hmm, I should probably try to get above, um, like, above the lava and block this off. Because if I have guardians falling in here while well, I'm trying to, to mess with, like, this whole little grinding area, I'll have lots of problems. So I'm going to block this off and, yep, try pains. I thought maybe pains and... And fence gates or something, that might do. Uh, I'm not too sure, though. You know what? Let's go ahead and try this out. Let's try using only panes. I dropped a pane in this thing, and it's just rocketing in a circle, I think. There's got to be one more. I should have 16, and that's a 4x4 area. Where did it go? <laughs> we'll just uh, make a new one like that. So, 
My thinking is, will Guardians fall through this thing? I don't want Guardians to fall through this thing. I want them to fall and bounce around, and uh, then the items will fall through. Now, I know items could technically get caught on panes, and uh, we'll see if that's a problem. Uh, but let's go ahead and break this open and take a look at the Guardians and see what they're doing, because this would be uh, way better than having um, all of those all that clicking okay so they're not falling that's good uh but will the items fall um hmm no no there's i don't oh some of them are huh you know that might not be a problem i i'd be willing to lose a little bit of items if we could get rid of that whole clicking thing but it seems like there's a lot of items kind of getting lost up there Hmm. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to go with this, actually. I'm going to keep this design in place because that is a whole lot quieter. Um, there is a lot of items getting left in there, though. Hmm. I could have water... Well, if I had water flush that out every once in a while. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, but I do know that I like this whole setup a whole lot more than the clicking thing. So I'm going to work with this um, and get the setup so I can funnel all of the items down into one water area. Uh, well, not one water area, but the, our same water area. Oh, um, <laughs> it's almost time to call it a day for this project, I think. But one final thing, I'm doing a little bit of experimenting, and I think I might have come up with some sort of solution. Not with the whole water thing, but with the items getting stuck. So here I was alternating fences and panes, right? And I'm finding that more items are making it through because... You know, there's less uh, space for items to get caught on things. But uh, panes are quite a bit smaller than fences. So maybe if I kind of alternate... Oh, nope. Ah, nope. That's not going to work. <laughs> uh, you made it through. So what I was thinking about doing is... Oh, no. They're going to all get through. I better go clog that up. Um, I was thinking about, you know, lowering the panes and maybe that will make even less uh space for items to f get caught but maybe i could have the fences lowered still uh just because the pain didn't work doesn't mean these fences won't i don't know if that'll really you know help anything um these guys might get caught on the low areas and then not burn up uh but yep that's what i'm thinking so I think that is going to be just about it for today. Um, uh, lots of science going on. I'm going to continue working on this off camera and trying to come up with a new solution. So uh, it's your turn. If you have any ideas, go down below and tell me, like, what do you think? How could I have these things die and the items fall down below? Uh, by the way, what I was going to do down here is just kind of a pretty lame way of doing this but doing signs above the water streams and then just kind of placing water and you know letting it flow into the streams here not that fancy or anything uh but it should work pretty fine and if that doesn't work i have room to create like a funnel in here so that'll be that that's how i'm doing that um but yeah what do you think how should i do this Tell me down below, uh, thank you for watching. Today's comment of the day, of course, is Poetic Valentine for all of the help with, uh, what I have so far. Um, I'll get you on the wall, so it's less of a comment and more of like a, hey, thanks for helping me type of thing. But, yep, uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.